How to Become a Thought Leader Want to become a highly successful internet marketer? Then you also need to become a thought leader. A thought leader is someone who leads the discourse when it comes to a certain topic or niche. That means they will be able to influence buying decisions, as well as to start trends. Influencers are in demand for advertisers, because they can greatly help them to gain exposure for their products, not to mention driving more sales. Imagine what you could do for your own brand or digital products as an influencer. So how do you become an influencer? The key is to understand that an influencer needs to have something unique and interesting to say. And this is where a lot of internet marketers go wrong. It's why a lot of internet marketers are not also influencers. The big mistake is to create a boring website that has no real message. An example might be a fitness website that just shares generic fitness tips. This doesn't have an emotional hook or anything to help it stand out from the crowd. Why would someone who knows a lot about fitness bother clicking on an article titled How to Get Great Abs? It's boring. Instead, a thought leader is someone who can bring unique insight to a topic based on their own passion, experience, and knowledge surrounding the topic. To make this happen, you first need to ensure that the topic you have picked is one that you genuinely know about and are interested in. If not, then it will come across that you are a noob. Chances are some of your content will be factually inaccurate or at best derivative. This is why hiring writers won't work. At the same time, you also need a brand and a message that is different from the competition. Again, a general fitness brand is not that. What is that is a fitness brand that takes inspiration from 80s action movies. Or how about a fitness brand that is all about training outdoors? These are more specific and niche concepts, but they are also unique. Moreover, the people who find them appealing will now only have one place to get that kind of content, and the rest of the fitness industry will certainly sit up and take notice. That is how you become a thought leader. That and lots of consistent posting with great marketing and a knack for telling stories. How to get started with email marketing. Email marketing is, for one reason or another, one of the least popular forms of marketing among marketers. Perhaps it's too boring. Perhaps it takes too long to see results. Or perhaps it's unrelatable. But the truth is that email marketing is one of the most important aspects of any campaign. Not only does this give you a direct route to your followers and fans, but it also allows you to do so in a manner that doesn't rely on a third party, like Facebook or Google. So how do you get started? Follow the steps in this presentation and you'll be well on your way. Step 1. First, you'll need something called an autoresponder. This is a tool that will help you to collect, manage, and use email addresses. You can't run a successful email marketing campaign without this, seeing as you'll need to handle things like double opt-ins and people unsubscribing. Step 2. Next, create your sign-up form. Collect as much information as possible without overstepping the mark. Place this at the bottom of each of your blog posts and in the sidebar. Make sure to talk about it and explain why people should sign up. Step 3. You might also consider creating a squeeze page. This is a single page on your site dedicated to getting people to sign up for your mailing list. Use your best persuasive writing and a focused design. You might also consider making an incentive or a lead magnet to go here. This is something like a free ebook that they will receive in exchange for signing up. Step 4. Next, you need to start sending those emails. Write emails that provide value and use subject lines that stand out and grab attention. Step 5. Be consistent with your posting and aim to send a message about once every week to begin with. You can ramp this up if you have a product launch or similar. Step 6. Make sure that you actively maintain your list to keep list hygiene high. That means that you should remove people who never open your emails and certainly remove addresses that bounce. Your aim is to make sure that your IP does not get blacklisted. Follow these steps and you'll have a highly engaged audience you can promote products to. This is especially powerful for affiliate marketing. How to get traffic to your website from social media platforms. Social media is one of the most powerful tools for internet marketers. That's because it will not only allow you to reach a large audience, but will also allow you to develop a rapport with that audience. This is a crucial distinction and one that all too many internet marketers miss. Social media is not just another advertising platform. 
Rather, it is a place to form allies and to create engagement, such that your followers become lifetime fans. This is, of course, hugely more effective when it comes to making sales and also leads to far more resilient business that isn't 100% reliant on its SEO. So let's discuss how you go about getting to that point. First, let's re-emphasize the fact that your social media account is not just a platform for you to use for further advertising. If you post ads on your social media or do nothing but talk about how good your products and services are, then you will lose followers and subscribers. People don't want their home feed full of meaningless posts about your cloud services. That means you need to provide real value. You can do this by creating posts that are informative or inspiring. Instagram is particularly effective for the latter and lets you use images that really sell your value proposition and to combine these with text that will offer further insight and advice. On Facebook, one of the very most effective ways to provide value is simply to share your blog posts. If you have written a useful and interesting blog post, then this can provide people with useful information and also encourage shares. With the basics down, the next step is to consider the more active and advanced strategies. One important tip is to communicate with your audience. Remember that social media networks are primarily a communication tool. This is how they are designed to be used. And if you can engage in a conversation with your audience, then they will feel as though they know you. That in turn can be transformative and ultimately result in their becoming far more loyal fans. Finally, consider integrating your social media with your site itself. That can mean adding widgets and plugins. Make it easy for your visitors to share the content they enjoy to their social networks at a click of a button. And make sure they can see your feed as soon as they land on your page. Top 5 Mistakes That New Internet Marketers Make In this discussion, we'll be going over 5 mistakes that new internet marketers make. These can prevent your blog or business from being successful before it's even got started. So grab a pen and paper and listen up. Number 1. Being Spammy Let's face it, an awful lot of people who get into internet marketing do so because they want to make money quickly with minimum work. They see that you can make money online, and they assume that this must be an easy and quick way to make a buck. Thus, the type of content they create is spammy and adds no real value. But look at all the biggest brands online and you'll notice something they all have in common. They're good. Number 2. Poor Design Similarly, your web design should be top-notch. That means having a strong brand, it means having a responsive and modern website, and it means using the best tools to build everything. Again, look at your competition. Does your site honestly compete? Number 3. Not creating enough volume Again, to reiterate, becoming an internet marketer is not a get-rich-quick scheme. If you approach it with that mindset, then you are in for a nasty shock. To succeed at internet marketing to the point that it becomes your day job, you initially need to treat it like your day job. That means you will be working 8-hour days writing new blog posts, gaining links, and communicating with your fans. This is non-negotiable. Number 4. Not being social The social aspect is hugely important for internet marketers. If you can build a genuine relationship with the people who build your website, and if you can appear to be a real person that others want to know and aspire to be like, then you will find that your site grows much faster and everything is much more successful as a result. Number 5. Not waiting long enough Finally, the last big mistake that bloggers make is not waiting long enough. This is something even big brands are guilty of when starting new ventures. If you want your website to be a huge hit, then you need to wait. It takes time to gain momentum and traction on Google, with your audience, and elsewhere. If your site hasn't become a massive success in two years, then keep going. It will all be worth it. Top 5 Myths Surrounding Internet Marketing Internet marketing is an extremely exciting business opportunity that allows anyone to earn a living from the comfort of their home. What's more is that they can earn a passive income, meaning that they can generate cash without needing to actively exchange their time for money. But while internet marketing is extremely exciting, it's also still relatively new. It's been around for decades, sure, but compared to jobs like Bricklayer, it's certainly not quite as historic. With that in mind, there is a lot of misunderstanding surrounding the topic. Listen up, and we'll take a look at some of the most common myths and the truth behind them. Internet marketing is a get-rich-quick scheme. 
If you're getting into internet marketing because you think you're going to get rich quick, then think again. Internet marketing is, in fact, one of the less guaranteed methods for earning money, and it's also one of the slowest. You'll spend months or even years working on your site before you see the money rolling in. Internet marketers don't do any work. Likewise, don't believe the sales pitches that you can earn a living by pressing a few buttons. Eventually, internet marketing will generate passive income, meaning that you're earning money while you sleep. Until then, though, you'll need to put in a lot of hours in order to set up that business initially. Internet marketing requires tech savvy. Learning to program or use advanced tools can give you an advantage as an internet marketer. That said, though, there is certainly no requirement to learn these. To be successful as a marketer, the only truly essential skills are an ability to write basic English and the commitment to get the job done. Internet marketing is risky. You don't need to pack in your day job in order to become an internet marketer. There is nothing to stop you from running your internet marketing business on the side. So give it a try and see what happens. What have you to lose? Internet marketing is spammy. Yes, internet marketing can be spammy when done wrong. But the truly successful marketers are the ones that are above cheap methods and that instead focus on providing real value for their readers and visitors. Those are also the ones that go on to be hired by top brands and firms. So pay attention.